village girl is back guys and i'm fine very very perfect thank you so much for caring about me for checking on me when i was sick guys i am back on my feet and guess what i couldn't wait to get back to the kitchen with you guys right away i'm here in the kitchen and i'm, I'm going to do a very a very traditional vegetable that we have it's one of our best it's one of the the very very most local traditional dish that we have guys so this is bowl i remember sometime back i cooked and mixed it with eggs so this time i'm going to do it in a more local way and do it with peanut butter guys i told you peanut butter is like our master spread in the kitchen guys so here already i'm going to pluck it off the, the stem and of course i'm going to start cooking straight so my guys the vegetables are already here plucked off from the leaf and also this one in the leafy okra i know you know this one because i've ever shown you before so guys before i dive into the cooking guys one that i really really want to appreciate so much though she prefers for her name to be held um unknown so i'm only going to call her mo because she's maureen someone and she's from the netherlands the lady has sent me money for just assistance guys and i'm surely very very grateful and i think i want to show you guys how i'm going to spend that money so make sure you watch the next video that i'm going to put up guys um so how about we continue our cooking <laughs> now let's collect the rubbish put it first and then we start cooking guys so right here is what we're going to cook guys but i prefer to wash it there are people who don't wash but i think i prefer to wash it because there is a way it has soil particles and i don't like to bite anything that is not this sauce when i'm eating guys meanwhile this is a very 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 nice sauce guys so i want to show you how to do it and it's our traditional meal as well so please watch this to the end So you make sure you wash with a lot of water so that the sand particles can sink down. Just like that. cleaning off the soil particles because for this one here you don't wash it remember it's very much sticky so if you add it in water it will not be able to clean it till that stickiness will all come out and that is not the intention here this is how you clean it for the soil particles to fall off and then next I am going to cut this one Next, I'm also going to cut this one, guys. So I'm going to use hot water because it's already here just to fasten my cooking and you could also be wondering you want to see what's here I'm also cooking beans guys this sauce that I'm cooking can either be a side dish or it can also be a main dish itself I've chosen to do it as a side dish I'm going to do beans right here you can see I'm cooking white beans so let's continue And then right here, this is um, Magadi, what is it in English? Okay, it's also bicarbonate, guys, but the powdered form. 
it's called it's 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 picked from the lake like it's is it minded how should i call it i don't know how to say it sea salt or something that is it guys so we use it to soften the vegetable there we go i don't want to add too much this will put back this one so i'm going to add in Hopefully the noise on the on the roof is not going to interrupt our sound. I told you it's raining outside and that's the reason we are actually in. is starting to boil guys I'm going to add in the tomatoes and then we are going to leave it to boil again and just know by the time actually the tomatoes are ready this vegetable is also ready so let's be checking for the tomatoes to be ready meanwhile let me also check for my things <laughs> Ooh, it's almost going to burn I have survived. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm checking if the tomatoes are ripe. I mean, if they're ready. Almost. Let's give it like five minutes and we're going to carry it off, guys. Then, of course, we're going to test. And, of course, I'm frying my beans already. It's ready. Right here is cooking oil. And the things for frying the beans, onions, tomatoes, right here. Yeah, plus my salt, of course. And right here is the peanut for the vegetable. Guys, you can see my beans are ready, so I'm actually carrying it off. And also this one, it's time to paste it. So let me first put it down. And also the beans, let me put both down. So I'm going to put here now water for mingling my posho. Looking nice. <laughs> we cover it there. So it's time to paste guys. And now this is how we do it. We first change it in another pan. Like this. Then we first only pour the soup to make it easy to, to mix the paste in it. We first mix only the soup like this. There we go, then we add in the butter peanut butter 
I love this thing so much, guys. But let me first taste. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's put it back on fire now. So when the paste has already mixed thoroughly like that, then you can now add in this other one that you had seen behind. Then of course we are going to add in salt. Looks like I've put too much. Let me put some here. Have a look. Oh, I want to eat this with hot posho, guys. Hot like hot. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. And you know what? I'm not going to waste even just one more minute. I'm just going to serve my food because I'm hungry and the aroma is killing me. Okay, right here is our bowl, guys. Have a look. Have a look. Perfect. There we go. And of course, the beans. Everything hot as you can see. Let me even sit down because I'm ready to swallow. <laughs> I love this sauce so much, guys. That's why I'm so excited. You could be wondering why I'm, <laughs> I'm too much excited, yeah? So, secondly, you know I love food, so <laughs> oh here we go. Let me cover the rest. Let me only put mine out. Like I told, I prefer to keep these things near fire, just temperature maintenance. Right here, I go. Let me get to it and wash my hands very fast, very fast without even wasting time. That's hot already. Amen. You want me to you want to hear me praying? Oh, I'm not going to pray loudly because I'm praying in my local language. <laughs> oh goodness. Really, really nice. Enjoy.